Sports. As always, high five. Hey, I usually do an after the five segment. You want to come in here, Keith? Come here. Come here. This is fun. This is fun. Come on. Test, test, test. Okay, so um, I have a high five club on Patreon. Yes, which I am a member of. Well, then you get to see this. You know what we're going to talk. Okay, good. <laughs> so, everybody, this is Keith. You know him as Tinkers on the Twitter? Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, and my form bot review went, went, it went okay. But it was, it was accurate. I mean, it was helpful. It, it, was, it was accurate. <laughs> but I said I was going to give it to Keith, and this is Keith. Hey, how you doing? So, Keith, it's a large machine. Yes. But it needs some tinkering. Right. What, are, what are your initial plans with it? Well, um, I've already talked to a couple people, and we're talking about putting a G-Max uh, flex plate system on there. Um, and I've also got some cap tubes that I think I might use for running the filament from some external... Uh, like the spanner hand spool holder system. Oh, that's a good idea. Via cap tube up to the top so that I can run some filaments that might need to be dried beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with this machine. I really am. I'm excited to do with it. Um, and I'm really happy you gave it to me. Thank you. Oh, well, I knew. Here, I, I wanted to give it to someone who I knew was going to um, play with it, right? Yes. And definitely. I wanted to not have to ship it. Yeah. <laughs> so since Portland is driving distance from right. Seattle, it, it just made sense. And I'm really excited for you to tame the dual extruder system on it. Right, which uh, I think I've got a good hand on because I do have the Sigmax, which is, or Sigma, sorry. Sigmax, you, <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, slipped. Pretty slip. Uh, maybe I want that one. <laughs> so since I have the Sigma, which is an independent dual extrusion, uh, that I think it's a good fit for being able to tame it. Yes. I can't wait, dude. I, I, I can't wait. I'm gonna have to compete with your build large build. I'm gonna you're gonna build one. I'm gonna print the same thing. No, no, it's not a competition. It's a, it's a it's a glorious show off. Okay. We're gonna show off similar but awesome things. Okay. Sounds great. Give me a high five, dude. That's gonna call it good from here at Proto Pasta. Here, turn the camera this way, Keith. See if you can, see if you can turn it. There we go. There we go. Let's go over to Alex. Here, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, Alex. You can't take it. It's long. <laughs> Look at this pile of filament right here. This is fantastic. Here. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? I mean, these colors are phenomenal. They're unbelievable. I can't even imagine what the transitions look like inside some of these. I mean, you're just gonna print beautiful things and. That's all we could hope for. Well, we had talked about printing a large thing is going to show off the transition, but printing many plates of smaller things, it would also be interesting to see that transition per model. What would be your favorite? Would you like a big thing or a bunch of small things? Well, I think we have enough spools. We can try it both ways. <laughs> <laughs> I will do that. How noncommittal is that of me? That's, that's pretty, that's, that's Portland levels of noncommittal. Right, right. Hey, just chill. I don't care what you print, man. Just chill. <laughs> hey, thanks for letting us come down. It was great to have you. You're welcome anytime. You hear that first. <laughs> don't let him forget it. Give me a high five. There it is. See you on the next one.